Hello and welcome to the LNN Auto Care channel. In this video, we are reviewing the Timo items I recently purchased. First up is the pet hair brush. As you can see, it certainly does help loosen and remove pet hair, but it does sound like you could scag or possibly damage fabric seats. As it does the job, I give it 5 out of stars, but as I said, it didn't sound very good being used. Windscreen cleaning is never a pleasure and that lower part is always quite difficult to reach with a microfiber as you can see. Next up is the windscreen brush. Certainly does make it much easier, but there is quite a downside. Because if you don't have extra microfiber pads to dry and buff the windscreen, it won't remove the product. Overall, I give it a 5 out of 10. Here we have the soft, small detailing brushes. As you can see, they do the job of getting into those tight gaps and are quite robust overall. I'd give them an 8 out of 10. Now we have the official LNN Auto Case Spray Ball. Inside the bottle I mixed 100ml of snow foam to 900ml of water and follow the Chinese instructions who only give it 10 pumps. As you can see, just using 10 pumps it is completely useless. 3 out of 10. Here we have the ultimate brush. It 
does the job of a cheap wheel brush, but it only lasted three quarters of the way around the wheel before it fell apart. Now making it quite a useful one for those Harry Potter fans out there. It did manage to repair it, but overall, all test. It was probably the best item out of the bunch. It works, it does what it needs to, but I'd only keep it for the wheels really. Overall, 8 out of 10. Finally, we have the small grey colour. It's very soft and does the job well on the wheels. Same as the mitt though, I'd be keeping it just for the wheels only. And I'm certainly very interested to see how it washes after a few uses. Overall, we've got a 10. I thought I'd give the pump sprayer one more go, and after a few more pumps, around 20, it did work a little bit better, but as you can see, the pressure ran out very quickly. I'd now give it 5 out of 10. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.